Hey YouTube, I know it's been a while since I've made a video using my uh, screen recording software, but uh, anyways, here we go. We are still on Windows 7. This is Release Candidate 1, Build 7100. And I just got that Windows 7 mode, or excuse me, Windows XP mode for Windows 7. And what this does is it allows you to essentially run a virtual machine of Windows XP within Windows 7. Well, what's that going to get you? That's going to get you your applications that are too stupid to be compatible with Windows 7 and they need Windows XP. So this is going to be really good in the business world. This comes in Professional, Windows 7 Professional, Windows 7 Ultimate, and Windows 7 Enterprise. So um, here's how you do it. You've got to open up a web browser, which mine didn't shut down correctly last time. It's okay. Run over to Windows.com. <clears throat> which is actually microsoft.com slash windows. Go to products, Windows 7. Then, let's see, you're going to want to look look for, actually, I think I searched it. Search for um, Windows XP mode for Windows 7. Windows 76, whoops. There we go. Windows XP mode. First one there. It is in, says here, professional and ultimate, but it will be an enterprise. To download it, go to Virtual PC website. You can do that. Start using the beta, which probably be out of beta a couple weeks, a couple months. Um, read all that crap, and then what you do is you do what it says. <laughs> download Virtual PC beta, which is a Windows update. It's a KB article. It's like 10 meg. Restart. Then you have to download Windows XP which is 500 meg and it is in its own installer but it's not like you're installing XP I don't really know how to say it but anyways once you get that done it's about a 500 meg download uh, I downloaded a meg per second here so it wasn't too bad um, then it's gonna put you in something called Windows Virtual PC so let's look at that and then you click on Virtual Windows XP that's gonna start up Virtual PC starting the virtual machine it does take a couple seconds to load more than I'd like but it's still very useful and it's very quick for a virtual machine I have other virtual machines installed on this PC um, I've got DOS 98 2000 and a different version of XP the XP that you download it's 500 meg it's, it's XP Pro Service Pack 3 um, fully functional you can mount your USB drives you can mount your CD <coughs> slash DVD blu-ray whatever drive um, I can even mount my webcam. This is my Lenovo ThinkPad Z61T. It's got 4 gig of RAM physically, but only 3 is usable. Um, Intel Centrino Duo, 2 gigahertz dual core, rated a 3.2 by Windows 7. It was a 3.2 in um, 3.1 in Vista. So as you can see, here we are. Uh, hopefully, I'm still recording from software. I'm sure we are, but. 16-bit uh, colors, 1280 by 800. You can fully resize the window. Um, unlike virtual, the regular Virtual PC 2007, your mouse is not trapped in here. If you want to get rid of it, you can come right up here, right there, and click Minimize, and then your uh, virtual machine is right down here. Um, I gave mine 512 meg of RAM, and my RAM is only on 41%, CPU is on 40%. Keep in mind that there is a screen recorder, hopefully, still going. Um, yes. So I'm really very impressed with this, actually. It's 100% functional um, to run any Windows XP application. You can see right up here, You can, you, I can mount my um, fingerprint reader and my camera. My built-in webcam, I don't know why it says USB, close, restart under action, and then you can control, delete takes you back to Windows, so if you want to do it within this operating system, you have to click that. When you're done, click X, it's gone, it says hibernating, um, as you can see the CPU kind of spikes there, <clears throat> up at 85%. Does not take long, it's quick, it's fully functional, it's easy. Um, Really, I love Windows 7, and this is what Vista should have been. But I'm not complaining. I liked Vista for the time I used it. I used Ultimate. Um, 
I did not have any problems with Vista, but here I am, Windows 7, working great, love it, it's going to work on anything, hopefully you've got, this is pretty high-end specs, or at least it was a year ago, or two when it was new, so, still good, but anyways, thanks for watching, and that was the Windows XP mode for Windows 7 Professional, Ultimate, which is what this is, and Enterprise Editions, thanks you for watching.